What's up everybody, I just wanted to preface this video by saying that a couple of the card rarities in this video have changed. So for example, I said using Eric Bailly would be an absolute sick choice because he's non-rare and he was at the capture event, but EA have updated and I think my goalie is the same as well. The goalie's probably still really cheap, but Bailly is actually kind of expensive now and maybe you want to go for Lindelof instead. So I just wanted to let you guys know, just be a little bit aware of that, that a couple of things have changed since I filmed this video. And also be aware that this isn't like a starter team where you load up FIFA for the first time and go and buy it with your returning user 5k that you made like i've got a guide going out on my second channel today on how i made 15,000 coins just from doing start stuff like how you should start fifa on my second channel that's going up on there and i got 15k in a couple of hours now you could probably go and buy half of this team with that coins but this is like a starter squad is in like the first team that you want to build it's not full of non-rare crap discard value players that are like just your first players that you buy just to have a team it's like your starter actual good team if that makes sense, I think that makes sense. That makes sense to me. Like, this is the team that you want to work towards buying first. It's not the crappy little one that you use your starter pack players in and stuff like that. It's an actual half-decent team, but that is kind of cheap and it's full of OP players. So I just wanted to let you guys know, be aware of a couple of the changes in card rarity. And also, don't go mad at me because this team doesn't cost 4,000 coins. Like, it, <laughs> there will be some expensive players. I put options in there, but your first starter team to work towards and gradually pick the players up and replace your starter squad with them, not literally just go out and buy the whole thing for 4,000 coins. So anyway, enjoy the video. What's up everybody and welcome back to the FIFA 19 capture event. Today I am joined by the main man, Lasty. Oh, what's up guys? How the, you doing? The squad building god is going to be showing me what a proper Premier League OP starts team that you guys are maybe opening your reward packs for coming back into FIFA, maybe doing a little bit of trading on the web app before the game comes out and then you're thinking, right, I've got a bit of coins, I want to build myself a squad and get cracking on playing the game, learning a new time finishing, learning all of the new stuff what team should I use? So, I'm going to go through it, and I'm going to build a squad here. I'm going to build what I think, I've had a few games there, and I've used it, and it is pretty, pretty good. And there's one guy in particular up front who is absolutely ridiculous, and is going to be basically discard value a couple of weeks into the game, which is mad. Tom is then going to show us his team. He's going to jump oh, yeah. back onto his account over there. We're going to go head to head and test them out against each other. And I mean, he's probably going to win because I'm terrible at FIFA. So let yeah. me know down in the comment section which one of these teams you guys think is the best one because it's good to test them out. And I can show you guys how they play and show you a couple of clips that I've got with the players, but you guys are going to need to test them out yourself and show them properly because I am probably not the best person to be <laughs> teaching you how to play FIFA. But before we jump into it, a massive thanks to the Game Changers for this opportunity to come and show you guys this stuff. And like, I can release this video on the day that FIFA drops and you guys can be like, right, that is the team that I want to aim for. All the information's already there. You don't have to sit there and search through all the menus and stuff like that yourself. We've already done it. We've checked out the players. Should we just get cracking into it? Yeah, let's go. Let's show let's the go. people the players and you can tell me why I'm wrong. So it's my first time seeing your squad. It is indeed. We've got some players down on the bench, so I'll talk you guys through it a little bit as we go through, but these are kind of different options that you can use and I'll talk, I'll talk you through them when we go through the position. So first of all, I am just going to go and throw in my goalkeeper straight away. And there's, there's quite a few. This might be the first time you guys are seeing some of these ratings. De Gea is still the highest rate. Well, he's oh, now the course. highest rate of goalie on the game. He's mad. Schmeichel's been upgraded loads. Pickford's been upgraded loads. Czech has been absolutely butchered. So maybe you could even go for better Czech. I mean, he's not going to be an expensive player this year, I imagine. You know, people are going to go for the Brazilians, the Edison, the Alisson. Exactly, you know. yeah. But the one that I went for, only one rating lower than Czech, but a non-rare. Oh, okay. Yeah, Crystal that's like Palace a sleeper man. card that people are never going to look at, you know, non-rare. Everyone's just going to brush over it. Like, people overlook. would rather put Begovic or Bravo yeah. in, but when you actually compare them, even though he's non-rare, he's got better stats. How tall is he? That is a very good question. Six foot three? Yeah, that's good. That's, that's good right. for a keeper. It's decent. Yeah. It's You've decent. got a solid option there, I think. So I've put him in the back there. At centre-back, two players, right. This is ridiculous. Two absolute gods of FIFA have been made non-rare. I was baffled when I seen it. Oh, One no. of them. Not the Man United legend. None other than Eric Bay wow, is now on okay. rare. And we're going to put in his partner in crime. It's going to oh, be Rudiger. Yeah. 73 pace, 6 foot 3, high defensive work rate, 80 strength, That's what 90 you want. aggression. A lot of change though between, or a lot of difference between his acceleration and sprint speed. I don't know if that's going to be a bit of a problem for you. You know, he's not going to get up to speed very quickly. But, but once he's going, he's yeah. going to be like that fella on X Men who like runs through <laughs> walls, headbutts to Vinny Jones on the X Men. Right. We've already said who it's going to be. It is none of that. Dan, the Man United, FIFA God. And he's, I've been using him. He's still absolutely insane. Yeah. I mean, look Just... at his stats compared to <laughs> Rudiger. It's, how is he still. Rudiger's non rare, and you're like, mm, okay, his best stats, 82 defending. I suppose Bailly's only a few better in each stat, but I mean, it's Eric Bailly. How is he not rare? He's been downgraded yeah, to 85 strength, 
70 bar, but again lapping on the acceleration. 87 aggression as well, great jumping. This is one, this is one mean centre back right here. It's ridiculous. There is there's some really good options though. Like look at Lindelof as well. A little yeah. bit. Maybe you could pick up a Lindelof for like 600 coins at the start, and you work towards yeah. buying Bay for course, a couple of yeah. k. Because Bay, he's got that like. Everyone knows who he is, they're exactly. going to like him. He's probably still going to hold a relative price just because of who he is, even though he's non-rare. Yeah. Um, but he'll be less expensive than he ever has been, no doubt. But yeah, he's still going to be a bit expensive because yeah. he's bi, but he's going to be flying out of packs he's because maybe he's maybe like the second centre-back that you yeah. go to buy, you know, maybe after you've used the Lindelof or Pick yourself a Lindelof, yeah. or if you've done a little bit of trading and maybe made yourself like 10 or 15k on yeah. the web app, you can probably splash the cash a little bit. For my left back, we have gone for... Again, non-rare again? Or? First of all, hang on, hang on. What have they done to Leighton Baines? 63 pace. Butchered the pace. The poor Butchered guy. It. But there's a cool option that you've got Alberto Moreno, yep. Masuaku, Van Arnholt. I've been using Brian. He actually looks really quite good. He's been doing decent. He's been doing decent. Good pace, so. good defending, good physical for like a starter. Yeah, part. exactly. I was comparing him to these guys along here. And yeah. the thing that like tipped me over the edge to using him instead is... He's lower rated, so he's going to be cheaper. Yep. He's also got better physical at 76, so 86 stamina to be yeah, going up and down. Great. Balance and agility is pretty decent. How tall is he for a left back, actually? Mm -hmm. He's only 5'7". Okay. He just had good jumping, so I wondered though, if he so was. Yeah. Could not be, too bad. Could be a good option. Oh, there's, op there's options there. Like You yeah. guys can spice her up and see who's actually cheaper when the game does drop, but not too bad. So like the idea of it is everyone knows Van Arnholt is like an OP left back, so they pretty much always Go, go towards, towards that, so go for the ones that you can slip in yeah. a Brian, just sort yourself out nice and cheap. It's going to work out for you. Same goes for this, like everyone knows Yedlin, everyone yeah. knows Bellerin. Of course. Get yourself a Ricardo Pereira instead. He might be 80 on rated, I think he's going to fly under the radar. He's, high, high he's under rates. the 90 pace, so obviously that means he but gets overlooked compared to Bellerin and stuff. Have you seen now, with the when you get the chemistry yeah. and the team chemistry, it tells you actually how much it's going to affect them. Even so when this guy's on full chem, he's going to have over 90 pace. Yep. Perfect. Mad, so you can already see with his 50 team chem and 10 player chem, he gets plus four on his sprint speed, and that's with a basic basic chemistry style. You stick could, a you could stick a shadow on, on there, he's gonna be 99 pace. <laughs> Ridiculous. So let's go into the midfield where there's a couple of obvious ones and maybe a little bit more expensive. There's obviously these. We've got stacked accounts. Stick a Pogba in there for an yeah. OP start. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pack yourself Pogba, stick him in your midfield, but there's a couple of decent ones, like Kovacic is not going to go under the radar, no. it's probably going to be a bit expensive, but he looks yeah. really good. There's a lot of hype around Naby Keita as well, signing yeah, for exactly. Liverpool, obviously, so people and are going to like him. Looks decent. Seri, goal of the month, yeah. looks really yeah. good. Brilliant player. I'm going down to the non rays again, though, and I'm looking maybe, you could pick yourself up an Aaron Ramsey, I suppose. People probably aren't going to stick him in the team, but the ones I'm going for are the two Man United boys, so let me pop this onto Man United. We're going to go again. Poor butchering, making them non race and a Herrera and Fred, the pair of them. Now, they're going to be two popular players, I think. You Especially might, Fred. Yeah, you might think I've got a little bit crazy putting Fred in there, but he, he just looks so good. Hi, hi, Oh, he's four star, four, four star, star, four star as well. Star. Okay. All right, maybe then this is where we should go down to the bench. Maybe you should get yourself a Terreira. Yeah, that could work. He's three star, four star. 70 pace, 80 dribbling, decent all around. Being like a few ratings lower than Fred as well, he's obviously going to hold a lower price. Yeah. Um, he's Brazilian, Man United, they're two very popular yeah. things. Maybe he gets a little, you know. Maybe I'm going a little crazy, but I have been using Fred and he's actually really, I'm really I'm sure really he's really great. great. Yeah. He's so sick. And then this one, totally flying under the radar. I was searching for ages to find some CDMs that look OP in the Prem. This guy looks mad. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I've got no idea who he is. I've never seen him play before. <laughs> But he looks sick. Oh wow. Lerma, 75 yeah. pace, 5 foot 10, 4 star weak foot, high defensive work rate, 90 stamina, 83 okay. aggression. He's going to be absolutely This is the everywhere. cheap gem CDM in the yeah. Prem. Wow. He looks really, a lot of really good. going on there. Yeah. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I think Seri looks like the cheap Kante. Yeah. It's like B Tech Kante. I'm trying, maybe this is B Tech Matic. It could well be. But know. he's faster. He's got a lot, of, a lot more pace though. Yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking he looks pretty good. Other options you can maybe go for. I was like, I was looking for ages. Like, who's actually going to be good? There isn't. We've got basically every prem player yeah, in we, our account. And we don't, we don't have the back of Yoko in the prem this year, which is, is such true. a big deal. You know, he was so OP on FIFA 18. So Lerma, looking pretty bloody good. Again, you can see he's getting plus four pace with his basic. He's getting plus four strength to take his eight yeah, strength. All useful Stick stuff. A, is it an engine on him? Engine will give him pace, dribbling, and passing. Yeah, I think. And he'll be yeah. spreading balls yeah. all over the place as well. He'll be Brilliant. absolutely laughing. So that's so. midfield complete. Strikers, forwards, left wing, right wing. I've obviously gone for 4 3 2 1. I feel mm -hmm. like wingers are quite important yeah, this year. Yeah, for sure. We've got a plethora of options of pacey strikers. It's obviously it's FIFA, you want a little bit of pace. So you've got King, 
and Wilson are basically the same card, to be honest with you. Yeah. I think King's got a bit more finishing with 81, whereas Wilson's got a bit more strength. Okay. It doesn't make, it doesn't make much difference, to be honest no. with you. You can then maybe work yourself up to a Jamie Vardy if you're feeling extravagant. The one I went for, and we're going to do the striker first because the right wing is arguably the biggest gem I have found so far. Oh, really? We're going to go for one that I don't think is flying under the radar and it's probably very, very expensive. Oh, I know. And I'm pretty sure be. he's got yeah. five-star <laughs> skills. It is none other than Wilfried Zaha. This is my man who I've been using. Really, really good, really fun to use with his five-star skills. And he's the one where you buy everyone for discard value yeah. and you think, all right, I've got a bit of coins left. I'm going to treat myself to a player. The one you want to treat yourself is your striker. Really, Always your striker, yeah. Your goal scorer. You want that to be the most fun player on the team, right? So. so if you haven't got the coins, maybe start yourself off with a King or a yeah, Wilson. Sure. And then play a couple of squad battles or something like that. Get your squad battle rewards and get Wilfried to hire your team because he's absolutely sick. So he's the one who's going in there. I'm yeah. interested in seeing who these wingers are. Who have, the, you, who have you gone and got? The left wing's okay. I've never really been a big fan of him on FIFA. I mean, I'd love Hazard. But <laughs> <laughs> I'd love Marshy. Oh, but again, he's too much FIFA hype Every, about yeah, him. Everyone knows about him. I've gone for Rashford. Okay. I've, I've got options down on the bench as well, so you can maybe start yourself off with Bernard. Yeah, I mean, price-wise, Rashford's probably going to be relatively expensive. All Man United players yeah, typically exactly. are, but good starter options in Bernard. And He's got 30, pace, 30 strength. 34 though. strength, okay. 96 <laughs> balance and 92 agility, though. Is I like, think he's tiny, though, isn't he? What, yeah, what's his height? 5 foot 5. 5 foot 5, okay, four yeah. 4 star, 4 star. You're going to be losing every battle <laughs> with four this guy, star. unless he dribbles his way around, I guess. And then maybe upgrade yourself from Bernard to a Felipe yeah. Anderson. This is a great option. Upgrade Absolute yourself gem. from Philippe Anderson to a Rashford. Yeah. Right wing, so maybe start yourself off. In fact, nah, screw Dale Feo. You don't need to start yourself off with Dale <laughs> Feo. You don't need anyone in your life other than. Who is this gem? This Who have guy you found? is ridiculous. His name is Adama. He's 75 rated. Wait for it. 83 strength wow. to go with his 96 okay. pace. But he can't finish. This so. Is, so, this is right. I'm going to put a clip here right now. He can't shoot. But if you can shoot, if you can master time yeah, finishing, yeah, okay. mad. Look at this goal. He just takes it into the first touch, into the edge of the box, and just smashes it across Crazy. the keeper top fins. It's actually ridiculous. Has he got skill moves or anything? Four star. Four star skill moves. Oh, High, low work rates. Stick him on, get him behind. Smash yeah, I think it. a lot of people are going to be using this guy. They're going to look at that really, pace stat, really the good. dribbling, the strength, and he is going straight into their team. <laughs> exactly. Well, Shakiri looks fun because he's got five star yeah, skills. Of course. It looks brilliant. He's got 16 more pace. 16? It's quite a big deal, I think, it's especially at the start ridiculous. of FIFA where, you know, your just opposition centre-back is yeah, not going to exactly. be 80 pace, they're probably going to be relatively slow. Yeah, it's a great option. That's, that's a nice team. That is really a really nice squad. I think it's going to be good. Would you like to show me, if we jump over to what your squad is going to be, what would you do different, Tom? So, I've gone slightly more, like, central. I've gone with a, a formation which doesn't actually have wingers. Just, okay. just as, a, a, as an option, you know, I know that the Premier League wingers can get pretty popular and therefore the price goes up a little bit. True. Um, and when we're talking about trying not to spend that many coins, trying to get a nice OP starter squad, uh, what I typically do is not really care about my goalkeeper or my defenders. So the goalkeeper's going to be, could be anyone along here. I know you chose this guy, non-rare. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go for Begovic, let's say. You Classic know, FIFA goalie. He is, he's known as being a pretty OP keeper. He's massive, six foot six. That's, that's going to help us out quite a lot. And I'm pretty sure he has like save with legs trait or whatever, which is okay. useful in FIFA 18. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but the defense, going to be all non-rare. So all right. uh, I'm not going to be wasting any excess coins on my on my defenders because, well, I want to I want to save that and use it further up the pitch, yeah. right? So, you want to get yourself a little free to half. Yeah, that's, that's the aim, right? Yeah. That's the end goal, really. Smash them five star skills <laughs> so Trent's going in, okay. and then we'll stick a couple of non-rare centre-backs in here who I think look pretty good. Uh, and we will go with... There's a couple of them, actually, isn't there? You mentioned one earlier. Ake looks really good as well. Yeah, so these two are the ones that are going to go in. I'll go okay. for Lindelof, and I'll go for Ake. Um, nice. So there's a relatively decent amount of pace. Anything above 17, you know, people are pretty happy yeah, with that. Uh, and then at left back, a little bit of height and a little bit of pace as well. Again, non-rare. We're going to go for Man United's Luke Shaw. All right. So I think he flies under the radar a little bit because he's non-rare. Um, but he's that's how the defence is going to go. He's playing really well this season, actually. So maybe people are trying to pick him up. Yeah, like five foot eleven. It's pretty good at the back. You know, good pace. You've seen him. He's really good all sprint around, speed with the with the chemistry on there. So uh, that's the defence. I think it's looking pretty good. But I would say yours is probably a little maybe bit, a little bit better to defence with the but five. But maybe a little bit more expensive. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, so that's, that's where I'm at with the defence. Let's move on to the midfield. So I've got 
I sort of upgraded them a little bit okay. from what I told you. But okay. they're, they're still not amazing, but uh, we mentioned this guy earlier. Vitek Kante? Yeah, I think he needs to go into the team. So Seri's in. He's like small, fast, strong, everywhere. Yeah, but the stats are great across the board. I mean, you're not going to be taking volleys with this guy, so it doesn't matter that that stat's in the red. Uh, Three-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. It's looking pretty month. good. Yeah. He's smashing it. Absolute smasher. So I've then, you know, because this is against you, Figured we'd, we'd stick a stick an Everton player in Aww. there. Why not? You know, and I think we've found a bit of a gem here. Andre you know what, I was Gomez. looking at him actually. He's a bit of a tank, isn't he? I didn't realise. In, in my head, for some reason, he's like five foot five. Yeah. He's six foot two. Four star skill moves. Four star weak foot. Eighty six yeah, strength. The pace Plus is not great. As well. but Ninety strength. Yeah. Great, great strength on this guy. Come and on. I think he's going to be a gem in the centre of midfield, holding things down. You know, uh, adding a little bit of extra height where Seri doesn't necessarily have it. Uh, and then moving on to my left centre mid. Maybe a slightly worse back of Yoko. Let's see who we're going to put good. in here. I'm just going to choose someone random, I think. Just choose someone <laughs> totally. It's not uh, confident you I, I just want to, I almost want to just choose Fred. But no, the player I actually went and chose, Oxay Chamberlain. Let's add some pace into the midfield as well. He's not necessarily okay, like okay. a Do you reckon he's going to be more mid? expensive or less expensive than Seri? Because um, he's lower rated, but he's it's lower Ox. rated, but it's Ox, he's got four star skills and weak foot, 85 pace, people are going to love the look of that in the centre of midfield. Uh, and the stats are actually pretty, pretty well rounded, you know, defence is quite low, but I think as a centre mid that pushes up a little bit, he's going to do the job for me. Not too bad. So there's the centre mids, moving up to the cam, uh, you know, you've got an option on the I bench. I can see a Lanzini like, on the bench. Lanzini's there, he's a good option, he's always been pretty good, four star skill moves, but he's pretty small. Um, not necessarily a bad thing when you're weaving and dribbling and stuff with your players, but I've gone for someone a little bit more popular. This is, you know, we yeah, start to the team, so we're splashing the cash uh, on some more it's Kevin De Bruyne. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> We've gone with uh, Christian Eriksen, who is a cheap OP beast. No, we're going to go for Jesse Lingard because okay, there's there's a lot okay. of hype around this guy. Four star skill moves, five foot nine. So he's a little bit taller than Lanzini. Stats wise, good agility. Is good. I yeah, like that. he's going to last all game long. Good ball control, good dribbling. Um, I just think that he's going to work in that position for me. All right, so you're splashing the cash on your cam. Yeah, he's going to be like the the one pulling the strings and stuff. Let's move on to the strikers. Who I'm going? Who am I going to choose? I nearly went on out of it. Six foot four, 80. massive, but he's not he's very. He's only quick. got eighty three strength. I, I thought it was going to be like ninety. Yeah, it should be really because he's. He's, he's huge, a big guy, he? yeah, but I'm not going to go for him. I'm actually okay. going to go for a little bit more pace, and it's going to be these two guys right here. Two players that were on your bench. Okay. Uh, Jamie Vardy, because... And Callum Wilson. It's a Vardy party, and then Callum Wilson, because I think, well, four-star skills on this guy is going to help out. Vardy's only got three, uh, super pacey. Decent strength, I would say. Look at his sprint speed, 88 plus five. Yeah. I see if I've got a chemistry style in my club, whack one on him and see what it says. You could put engine on, I mean... It gives a little just bit of extra pace. On, put engine on just yeah. to see what pace it had given. Because you can get a hawk instead, that's like pace. Yeah, pace, physical and shooting and physical, right? So Plus five, plus five. Yeah. So that's, Laughing. That's sick. I've got a very pacey striker at this point in time. So yeah, that's my team complete. Very, very Show the nice. the little players on the bench. These are options that you could either start with or use instead of. Uh, and if you wanted to go with like a wide formation, yeah, someone like Felipe Anderson, another Everton player for you here on the right hand well, side. Everton squad's been absolutely butchered, <laughs> but then it does mean there's a couple of starter players in there that you yeah. can maybe slot in. So. And then Lucas, of course, looks great Better this year. Month, though, he might... Maybe a striker as well. Yeah, he might, he might be very expensive because you might need to trade him in yeah. for the player yeah, oh, of the yeah. month. So that's the thing, that he, that's why he sits on the bench, not necessarily in the starting eleven. So there's my squad, we've there got your go. squad. There's the two teams, let me know which one you guys would like to use. A couple of different options because not everyone starts on the same level. Like some people might get lucky and they start to back and get themselves 25k. Yeah. Some people might only have 10k. So there's different variations to each squad. But let me know which one you guys would like to use down in the comment section. We're going to jump into a game, test them out against each other, and see how these players get on. Here we go. Not too shabby. I feel like I've got him now. I feel like I've got him. Go on, son. There we go. Adama down the line. I told you, he's ridiculous. Nice finish by Rashford as well, but Adama gets all of the credit there. Oh, no, Jamie Vardy sprung the offside. What a save. Oh, Rudiger's been rinsed by Wilson. Oh, it's great play. Oh, what a goal. 
Andre Gomez in the centre is an absolute monster. Oh, Jamie Vardy, stop it. <gasps> oh my God. There we go, Wilfried Zahar uses the strength. We get back to level. Two all, extra time looms. Jamie Vardy actually needs to have a day off. Nah, I'm done. I'm actually done. The stupid flick up things are ridiculous. Oh, that was Lingard. She just needs to have a day off of the flick ups. He's offside. I've tried to score a tramp goal and he's offside. Oh, he's not. It's in. Okay. Ooh. Okay. The, the, <laughs> the score didn't update straight away. So I was, I was thinking that I'd mess it up, but we're good. No, Jamie Vardy's ridiculous in this game. There we go, that is full time. Very, very nice goals from Tom. Let me know down in the comment section which team you think is best. Jamie Vardy for him was absolutely mental. I would absolutely recommend picking him up. But yeah, that is where we're gonna leave this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Remember to go and check out Tom's channel down in the description. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.